Okay. See, good morning. Uh, my name is Ravi Kumar and my colleague Santosh Shishan and Vinay Kumar with the help of these two guys. I'm doing a video on this, you know, pentagonal lamina. Today I'm explaining about the pentagonal lamina. So, with lo without locus and with locus. See, the pentagonal lamina, how to find out with locus and without locus is very, very important. The word perpendicular bisector. Okay. The word perpendicular bisector of the head passing through the corner present, then it is a locus problem. Along with the perpendicular, the word appear is present in the problem is called as a without locus. See, first we shall read the first problem. A pentagonal lamina of 25 mm sides is resting on one of its corner on HP such that surface makes an angle of 30 degree with HP. Okay. And perpendicular bisector of the hedge passing through the corner on which lamina rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP draw top and front view. So here appear word is appear word is present so it is a without locus problem okay in perpendicular bisector is present but appear word is present so that's why it is a without locus and read the second problem and similar way the pentagonal lamina of 25 mm side is resting on hp with one of its corner such that perpendicular bisector of the hedge passing through the corner on which lamina rest is inclined at 30 degree to hp and 45 degree to vp so here the word appear is absent so it is a with locus here word appear is present that is a without locus okay so we shall construct first position see first position is pentagonal lamina corner condition so corner towards your left hand side and edge towards your right hand side so construct 25 mm pentagonal lamina front and top view on this so next we shall go for next next is surface of lamina is inclined to hp at 30 degree. So, if the lamina resting on HP, so we'll take a surface of lamina is inclined to HP. If the lamina resting on VP, we'll take surface of lamina is inclined to VP. So, first we shall take surface of lamina is 30 degree inclined to HP at 30 degree. So, take 30 degree. Take 30 degree. From this point. I'll use visible line. So next, use compass. See, measure this. This is a surface of lamina. So measure this surface of lamina. See, from point A to point C. From point A to point C. So measure it and this as a center, cut an arc. Okay, so this point is a dash and this point is c dash and d dash. So next you need to find out the point b dash. So for pointing out the point b dash, so measure from a one a dash to b dash. Measure a dash to b dash, then a as your center, cut an arc. Okay, so this point is b dash and d e dash. So now use visible line use visible line join this ok and this angle will be 30 degree to HP after that so draw projection line downward so don't draw a necessary line so to where you want to draw so this is point A next from the point B and E so B and E are in same point so I will get in same line first we will get E and next we will get P ok so from the point E this is E next is B so from the point C and D so this is point C and this is point D now join the line first is A to B next B to C next C to D next D to E 
after that e okay so this is second position and this one is a third one so here we need to know what is perpendicular bisector see line joining between the corner to the opposite edge midpoint line joining between the corner to the opposite edge midpoint we'll take this is m so this is the perpendicular bisector so this is perpendicular bisector okay so this is inclined to vp at 45 30 degree to vp okay so now we shall take 30 degree take 30 degree to vp okay so draw one straight line okay so after that you need to place this you know uh, apparent length of uh, lamina pentagonal lamina you need to place it on inclined to vp so you need to place first this perpendicular bisector means a to m should be place it on xy line so select any one point here so this is a and so find out the distance between a to m find out the distance between a to m okay next from the point a you cut an arc from the point a you cut an arc so this is a point m okay after that you need to go for box method so draw one box for this so this is 1 2 3 and next is 4 okay so if you rotate like this 4 and 3 will be above inclined to vp line and 1 and 2 will be below inclined to vp line so take 90 degree from each part so from the point a you take 90 degree take 90 degree again similarly from the point m you take 90 degree from the point a take 90 degree again from the point m take 90 degree and just draw line up to where you want just i'll take only small line because i don't need any extra lines so enough next is measure this a to 4 a to 4 so this will be equal to a to 1 so similarly m to 2 and m to 3 so measure one side and you cut an arc next both two sides So we now extend this. Complete the box. So this is one, two, three, and four. Now place the points. See, placing the points is very simple. So measure between two to C. Okay, this will be equal to three to D. So two to C, measure and cut. Similarly, from three to C, cut. So this is C and this one is D. Next, measure two to B, measure two to B. Okay, so two to B, cut. Again, from this similar E, this point, cut. Next, this one is B, and this one is E, and E is here. And then next, join the points. Okay, so perpendicular bisector is placed on inclined to. vp line so now draw projection upward let's complete the problem so this is point 
a dash next from the point b b and e is on same line so this is b dash next from the point this is e dash next c and d so c will be above so this is c dash and this one is d dash now join the points a to b next b to c next c to d next d to e next a to d so this completes the problem so after that you mention all dimensions are in mm so this is a without locus problem so next i'll explain with locus problem okay see uh, last problem we did a without locus problem and this is a with locus and because appear word is absent in the problem okay so we'll find first construct you know same first and second position is same similar to the last problem so first construct first and second position so first one will be a true length lamina second one will be a apparent length lamina because the lamina is inclined to hp at 30 degree so that's why the median length means perpendicular bisector length is reduces see this length will be reduces okay this perpendicular bisector length will be reduces that's why we will going for locus problem if it is not reduced so we will not go for locus problem so so we shall first find out now you know uh, beta angle first take a 45 degree to inclined hp okay is given in the problem first take 45 degree to hp the so vp sorry vp then take true length first okay so point a to m is a true length so point a to m is a true length select any one reference point so cut an arc okay so this reference point will be a a and this one is m1 okay so next you draw one locus line draw one locus line so next use apparent length so first you take true length next you use apparent length okay apparent length from the same reference point a okay cut an arc see arc should be very near to the true length arc okay arc should be very near to the true length arc so this point is m so this point is m1 and this point is m okay so next join the line m1 to a m1 to a and extend this up to xy line so now find out the beta angle so how much you will get it's around 51 or 52 you will get so you are getting getting 54 okay 54 degree beta angle so you mentioned in below side beta is 54 degree okay so now you need to place the am dash here and you need to place the parent length of the lamina in the incline to vp line so for that again i'll take 90 degree line 90 degree to the apparent length to the apparent length so just I will take a very small line very small line so now I will transfer same line I will transfer I will draw parallel line
ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज मेजर मेजर फ्रॉम एट टू फोर ओके सो दिस इज फोर दिस वन इज थ्री टू एंड वन सो मेजर ए टू फोर सो दिस डायमेंशन इज इक्वल इन ऑल द डायरेक्शन सो फ्रॉम मेजर इट एंड कट एन आर्क मेजर इट एंड कट सो एल गेट वन बॉक्स ओके सो दिस वन इज वन टू थ्री एंड फोर नाउ जॉइन वन टू टू एंड थ्री टू फोर so now place the points so place the point like first measure measure 2 to c okay measure 2 to c so cut an arc next similarly from 3 to d so this point is c and this point is d so next measure from 2 to b 2 to b so 2 to b and similarly in this side 3 to e this one is b and this is e now join b a to b next b to c next c to d next d to e next e to a so after that draw projection line upward so this is a dash then b next e so this one is b dash and this one is e dash next similarly c d c dash and d dash now join a to b b to c c to d d to e e to b so this complete the problem so all dimensions are in are in mm and this is a with locus problem thank you